let's see the first example. Cubic root of 64. First of all, I'm going to decompose it into factor, into prime factor, like this. 64 divided by 2 is 32 divided by 2, 16 by 2, 8 by 2, 4 by 2, 2 by 2, 1. Okay, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 to the sixth power. I'm going to put here the roots of 2 to the 6th power, right? Now, let's see that this exponent is divisible by this index. So, I can put it out, put it out like this. 2, 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 to the second power is 4. Notice that in this case the radical was eliminated. Right? Let's to the second example. Fourth root of 6 is 4. As we have seen before, I can represent 64 as 2 to the 6th power. But in this case, 6 is not divisible by 4. But I can write like this. case, I can simplify more, applying one of the properties of a radical. I can divide by two this index and this exponent. We have here two times square root that in this case the radical was reduced and the index was also reduced. Alright? Let's go to the last example. Alright, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Two to the sixth power times three. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put here. Two to the sixth power times three. Note that in this case, six is not divisible by five. So I can write like this two to the sixth power, two to the sixth power can be represented like this two to the fifth power times. Two times three. All right. This exponent is divisible by this index, so I can put it out like this. Two, five divided by five is one. This exponent is not divisible by this index. Also, this exponent is not divisible by this index. So, we have here 2 times 5 the root of 2 times 3. Alright. In this case, the red hand, the red hand was reduced. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.